Hi! Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Marina and today I'd like to talk about my experience with the solar can. But first I'd like to make clear that no one has paid me to do this video, so neither the solar can nor anyone. Uh, so basically uh, this is going to be my honest opinion. So that being said, let's begin. I was scrolling down through the Analog Wonderland website looking to buy some films and I stumbled upon the solar can. The solar can is just, it's a really simple camera. It's just a can with a pin sized hole on the side and a photographic paper inside. That's it. Tutto qui. What really convinced me was the solar can combines two ideas that I really like, which are first photography, obviously, and then astronomy. I don't know, just the idea of doing a long exposure when i say it's long exposure and see the sun's path on your on the photographic paper i i found it quite interesting so yeah that's why i really wanted to try it too so yeah i bought it and i wanted to give it a go unfortunately i don't have any footage of myself unboxing the solar can when i got it but in its box you can find everything that you need to set it up straight away uh, you'll find the solar can the instruction booklet and two cable ties you can set up your solar can pretty much anywhere, fence post, drain pipe, street light, preferably facing the sun, and the higher the better, but without attempting your own life, que nos conocemos. So Thursday the 21st of February 2019, I decided to set up my solar can. I have to confess that at first I think I said something about leaving the solar can for three months, um, but um, I think I it passed a little bit over than a year but hey the longer you leave it the more suns pass you can get on the photographic paper so a win-win i guess so without further ado let's bring the solar can down shall we here i am again with a chair a little bit more suitable for the occasion Remember to take the scissors with you and remove ca uh, whoops. <clears throat> carefully your solar can. After I brought the can down, I covered the pinhole with a piece of duct tape that I got at home. I put the solar can in its box and I took it a few hours later to the lab. To open the solar can, you only need two things. The solar can and a can opener. It's not necessary to open it in complete darkness. Just try to avoid opening it in direct sun and place it straight away in your scanner. Yep. All right. Well guys, so I have finally opened the solar can and I took out the photosensitive paper from the can and I put it here. Uh, now what I need to do is to prepare the scanner. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece of paper to do a pre-scan. And then I'm going to take the paper out from this box and then put it on the scanner facing down and do the scan. This time I'm using the Epson V850 scanner with the Epson scan software to scan the photographic paper. But you can perfectly use an ordinary office scanner or take a photo with a camera or even with your phone. As I said before, first I'm going to do a pre-scan of the plain paper in order to avoid light hitting the sensitive paper twice. And finally I'm going to do a high-res scan of the photographic paper. Et voila! Now let's invert the colors of the image and enhance this masterpiece playing a little bit with the white balance, exposure and contrast. And here you go! This is the scan of what the photographic paper looked like when I took it out from the can. 
And this is the final image after I inverted the colors and enhanced it a little bit. I think it looks really cool, what do you think? I definitely like the experience quite a lot. That magical moment when I inverted the colors of the image and I seen what the photographic paper capture after a year, I don't, I think it was yeah, it was pretty awesome. I should confess that I thought that I ruined the solar can by leaving it so long and nothing was going to come out. I just think that I was completely wrong. In fact, out of curiosity, I asked Sam Conwell, who is the founder of the solar can, and I asked him, hey Sam, how long can you leave a solar can up there? And he said, pretty much as long as you like. Mm, next time I will probably borrow a ladder from some neighbor. Since I miss a little bit of the top of the ellipse, I think it wouldn't be better if I place it um, a little bit higher than it was. But well, anyway, let me know what are your thoughts about the solar gun if you have already tried it. And guys, I'm here to help you, so if you have any questions at all, you can always leave me a comment down here. And um, you know guys, I'm not used to say subscribe or hit the like button or you know these kind of things. But you know, if you like this content and you want to help me, you can, you know, I don't know, just do whatever you want. And that's it. Infinito. See you next time. Bye bye. See you. Wee. Es que tengo el micro. Wee. Adiós.